male dominated industries and occupations are particularly vulnerable to reinforcing muscular stereotypes that make it even difficult for women to excel in them. Women continue to encounter challenges in, the, in this industry as most of the ventures dominated by men are seen by the society as a no-go area for women. But a 20-year-old girl in the Gambia is breaking the barrier as she believes that harassment from the public for doing a male-dominated work will not distract her from achieving her dream. There's more in this report. Women have been trying to break away from norms and traditional standards set by society. They have been marching for equal rights and fighting for their rightful place in the world, especially in a job market dominated by men. In the Gambia, society brands women who are into male-dominated areas such as carpentry and masonry as funny and ridiculous. Sofisar, a 20-year-old girl, says she loves our society ridiculing her for being a female masonry worker. To Sophie, nothing can stop her from practicing the career she chose for herself despite being publicly harassed. So she said, bule afrit, bule hol botinit, kom do dem fen. When you do this kind of work, don't be afraid what people will see or how they will look at you. If you mind those things, you won't progress. I, Sophia, I'm not concerned about what people say because I choose this work for myself. Nobody forces me. People always talk about me. Sometimes people will harass me because of my job, but I don't mind them. I just laugh it off because I know it's my job. No need to stand and confront people. Then I'll be waiting for my time and I will never get angry either. The underlying assumption surrounding gender roles has had a negative effect on organizational culture, putting females at a disadvantage. Sophie says one of the challenges she is faced with in her work is people not willing to pay or not paying her services at all. Sophie also encouraged her maids who have learned the academic side of masonry to make best use of it by implementing what they learn in the classroom. As we speak, it is difficult to see many women doing this type of job in the Gambia, so we have some of them. I was in the same class with some other females, and not all of them ended it because they did not want to go to the field to implement what they learned. You cannot only stay with the hard papers, no. You need to go out to the field to do the job. I have seen many things which are really a challenge to us. Because sometimes you will work with someone and the person will not pay you. Sometimes you will call to make a follow-up for your pay, but they won't respond or even reject your calls. Or you have a contract with someone and nothing is left but to get paid. They will be twisting and turning you. Meanwhile, Sophie's boss, Abdullah Boy, CEO of Wisdom Construction and Business Enterprise, describes Sophie as a hard-working individual. Since I started working with her, I discovered a willingness in her. It is something very rare to find among her mates doing such kind of jobs. I was working with many others when I was at inside training as a center manager. But I have not seen someone so kind like her. One thing about her is that she does most of the jobs given to her, no matter the type. She always has her own way of making it work. She needs more encouragement and motivation in what she is doing. So the only way Safi can be encouraged and motivated is to support her to further her studies to high levels, as she already has a certificate in construction. Safi Saad did many other jobs like plumbing, electrician and many others before she finally took missionary as a career in which she has been engaging for the past four years. The 20-year-old thanked her family for allowing her to take masonry as a career as she recognizes their support since the beginning. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Mariana Cham.